crypto slow with the crypto gains what's going on guys man i thought i was looking at the chart of zen there for a second i woke up and it's usdc so if you haven't been sleeping under a rock usdc is depegged uh, sitting around 91 cents now if you look at the entire history of usdc uh, it's never gone this low so you know Number one, should you be concerned? Absolutely. Number two, should you panic convert all your USDC into something else at a loss? What I will say, what I am doing, I am not. I hold stable coins on several different chains and several different stable coin products. And the reality is, Based on the news we're seeing, which it always seems to be worse once they actually get into it, that there's about a $3.5 billion shortfall. Now, let's put this into perspective. This USDC is considered the gold, the uber number one itchy bond of stable coins, okay? And there's a lot of vested interest in making it and seeing it succeed. So, from my viewpoint, Am I panic trading my USDC? And the answer to that is no. Now, I do not recommend that you do what I do. I'm actually accumulating USDC by converting some of my ETH and maybe a little Bitcoin because I think that this is just, it's going to go back to peg and it's going to be business as usual. Now, could we see some extreme panic moving into this weekend, Sunday? So, you know, we, we heard that Coinbase stopped their, you know, they're not doing the conversion. They're gating that. That's called gating because what they don't want, what they don't want is a run on the bank. So you have to, you have to look at this objectively. If it depegs too much, Circle or Coinbase or some third party like BlackRock could come in and scoop it up at a discount, okay? And the reality is, is Circle may have to give away some of its equity percent ownership uh, to plug the hole. But three or four billion in the scheme of things for the super ultra wealthy uh, market makers in this market, in my opinion, is peanuts uh, i just now this is black swan don't get me wrong i'm concerned i mean am i wiped out if this keeps going down no i'm not wiped out again you want to diversify and you want to be in a lot of different places like i know a lot of people flip to die but then die is backed by <laughs> by, this, by usdc so there's really not much of a gain there you know let's see looking at I think Dai was down quite a bit. Yeah, Dai's down at 93 cents. So, you know, and then you're like, well, you could go to USDT. My opinion is I've always, like, I don't have a ton on USDT for several reasons. I, I think it's going to get banned eventually because, you know, they're not allowing audits. And, you know, you really don't know. Now, with that being said, is there any 100% guaranteed stable coin out there and to the answer to that is no you know it's simply when you have these bear cycles if you watched my video the other day the race for liquidity is on i told you that's why i don't think we've hit a bottom yet you know i told you i'm waiting for that island money is these when there's liquidity crunches things break such as stable coins such as the price of assets related or traded to those stable coins. So, you know, I I actually picked up some a decent chunk of of more because honestly, I think it's just going to be an easy 8 to 10% and I'm patient. You know, if anything panic emotional driven trades you almost never win. You never win. You never win that way. So, but again, I recommend you do you. Okay. But I, I just think this is, this is going to be a blip on the radar. And I'm not saying that there's no risk. 
but I'm willing to take that risk for um, the 10%, and I'm certainly not taking a 10% loss on something in, you know, but again, it could keep going down. You don't know what's going to happen on Monday when the bank, per se, opens, but I would probably surmise that Coinbase will limit or gate, meaning control just how much you can actually convert. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if that. Now, when I logged into my Coinbase account, which I don't keep money on my Coinbase account, the only time I go to Coinbase is I use it for a fiat gateway in and out. So, uh, you know, are your funds safe on Coinbase? And uh, at this point, I would say it's probably fine. Uh, but, you know, again, you're in crypto. There's always risk for everything, but I think this is just going to shake out. So that's it. I hope you liked today's video. Stay safe out there and, you know, try not to get too emotional about it. Uh, money comes and goes. <laughs> I, like I said, I think this is just going to be another blip on the radar, but, you know, definitely doesn't look good. <laughs> but with that, uh, we'll talk soon. This is Crypto Slow. If you're not talking gains, then we're not talking.